Hey yo, what up guys? So in this video, we're going to be talking about the protests happening right now. And first of all, Nigerians have had a lot of things to say during this protest, you know, because a lot of people have come out, you know, protest is crazy in the north, protest is crazy in the west, guys. And in fact, we've had some few celebrities, celebrities like Fowls, you know, celebrities like Bonner Boys speaking out celebrities like portable if a portable right now is being dragged for a lot of things he has come out to say which people are not really happy with guys but you know um very dark man also you know he has had his share of dragging which i'm going to be telling you what happened in this video so if this is the first time you're seeing this channel kindly hit the subscribe button and like this video guys don't forget to subscribe so guys um basically basically the protest has been happening and a lot of things has been happening in fact this protest just shows right now that nigeria is in pain you understand nigeria they are really passing through a lot because you see a lot of people you know from protests of children children like underage children coming outside to protest in the north and the protesters had a lot of things to say guys but one man which has been dragged like one man which has been called out is very dark man you know because very dark man was very vocal even before the protest you understand but this guy actually came out to call out very dark man for not attending the day one of the protest and this was what he said the protests have obviously gotten out of hand because I just see pictures and videos of Kano State, how people don't go to loot government house and they don't they carry things. You understand? See different pictures. Now, my own fear, now we sit on the ground for Abuja, the place when police don't go block, nya nya, the people they don't break too. You understand? Now they are coming towards town and this is a very big problem. This is done with the fear. I have come to the conclusion that very dark man is working for the government. I told you guys earlier on that very dark man is an informant. It's not an activist. That guy works for the police and he works for the government. He no be an activist. He no be what to things saying be. Look at what he's saying. That people are looting, doing this and that. Yeah, I know that people are looting. But trust me, the people that are looting in this protest are not the real protesters. The people that are looting are the people set up by the government to deter other people from protesting. The people that are looting are people. What we say that they loot, make the real people we're supposed to protest no come out. As you can see, the government have successfully collaborated with the telecommunication companies and the network today, they're very bad. Nobody go feel go live. Today, they've been having network issues in Nigeria because the telecommunication are working for the government as well. The other day, very dark man came out with banner down on top of car with a guy. They do like say they protest. For one guy, save corner, just the two of them. I made a video about it and a lot of gullible followers with the follow and come on my page that attack me as usual. But I do not care because I always say the truth. Today, being the 1st of August, that they said that everybody should come out and protest. Did you see very dark man? No. He no come out. Because they don't tell him, say, make him no come out. If they work for them. Because the way they're in Nigeria, we suppose they're out there. A lot of people are out there protesting. But he's online, putting fears in the minds of Nigerians. You know, say, Nigeria, once they don't hear, say, they shoot, that they loot. Everybody will just in your house. Nobody won't buy. So basically, they're using VDM as a tool to infuse fear in the society. Now, what do you understand? I understand the politics that is going on. So after I did this video, you know, Very Dark Man came out and he explained why he did not go for the day one of the protest, you know, and this was what he had to say, explaining it. All right. Um. So I see a lot of talks, a Very Dark Man, after the mouth when make, after the talk, when talk about the protest, you know, come out. The reason why I don't come out today, now because hey, I be target. Just believe it. I am a target to both the big and the small. You understand? I know it and they know it. Do you understand? And now why I just couldn't. I come say, okay, we'll get a particular period of time when I go enter. But when I come decide that one, everywhere don't already choke. I need to say I go outside, a lot of people will come use that mura, they'll get more mura, and you see the way everything on the go. Police don't lose control. They don't feel control everything again. You understand? And that's why I had to stay back. Secondly, I see people they talk about celebrities, no talk and all that. Between you and I, you people know me, me I know they lie. I will tell you the truth. Plenty of them don't call a job. And the money they hear. You don't get your mouth. And if you day your mouth, you know if you talk. You get food with your mouth, you know if you talk. You understand? Eh? They don't collect money for the matter. The people who don't collect self, I know she'll see the rich. So if I say you get mouth, you get the plus one. Yeah, plenty of them don't hold on stone. I know this because I know great collects. And I say yes, me, I will always talk on behalf of the people. Because the moment when I collect now, I shut up. A lot of people hope don't shut up too. I have the platform and I will always use my platform to talk about what is happening in the country and how bad a lot of things are going. You understand? Now, today is the first day of the protest and it has already gone out of control. Nobody knows what will happen tomorrow. Do you understand? Me, I will just appeal to the President of the Federation that please, President Asimajibola Metinubu, I beg you, please address the nation, address us and please tell us the 411. 
You understand? Tell us the way forward. As to especially the fuel price. Because I believe that if the price of the fuel come down, food price will come down. If people decide not to even increase the minimum wage, you can decide not to increase the minimum wage, no problem. But you see that fuel price, in short, take off all the minimum wage money, save. And just carry that fuel price down, even if it's 150. Because this 70,000 now want to increase the minimum wage, although nobody don't collect 70,000, but this 70,000 want to increase and so it still will not do if the fuel price is up now. Eh? Let's assume you are collecting 70,000 naira. You are using transportation to go to work. Let's assume that you are using 2 liters. 2 liters times 30 days, we give you 42,000 naira. 42,000 naira come up from um, 70,000. Go to make 28k. Do you understand? Go to make 28k. You know, go chop. Even if you they drink Gary Wama Mudu every day. That is one six. Calculate one six times thirty. That is about forty something thousand again. That's eighty something k. You know, go buy clothes. If you see Kunko, do you understand? If you see Kunko, then what about the ones who get children? Go put their children for school. It is the economy. Don't just fair price will go a long way. To go a long way. To go a long way. The food price will drop drastically. So I believe if the president can just look to the people's corner, just bring down the fair price. Everybody, now everybody will go home. And also to the protesters, this my own car is a police town an enemy. When I need to change that, they watch videos now. They don't bomb police car, they don't beat police, they don't do we don't need all those things. We don't need it for real. Police not be your enemy, they are charged with the responsibility of protecting properties. They're not gonna just stay, maybe but they go break the loot. This is why now out of fear, I will tell you this thing today. Now out of fear, now I make police these streets. Not because of say they want your power. How many people they want over power? Are the policemen more than the, the citizens? No matter how police plenty for this Nigeria, you know if plenty pass citizen. No matter how police plenty for Abuja or any state, you know plenty pass the people where the citizen. So now out of fear, because people property is day. So why you are trying to go and loot and break, just know that you are also putting a lot of people out of their jobs. Do you understand? And it go worse. I beg, if you want to come protest tomorrow, I beg, this idea of you want to come loot and all those things, take it off your mind, please. Please. I beg you people. Thank you very much and don't play. So definitely the very dark man was in the day two of the protest and guys it went messy for very dark man you know because you know um tear gas was thrown at them at abuja and you could hear very dark man calling at wiki and saying that wiki this was not what we bargained for you guys have to understand that we are not dogs and we are not sheep wiki yes. cannot tell us to go to the stadium to protest yes. 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 our country and it's our right yes. Yes. Hungry day, 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 hungry day. Nigeria we want to we are not fighting anybody see, see, see what your boys see. are doing see, we are not fighting doing? anybody Wike Wike it is our right to protest Wike it is our right to protest it is our right to protest it is our right <laughs> very dark brain <laughs> Side they run like zombie, zombie, yo, zombie, zo. Side they run like zombie. Why are you even running? I just say they say, why are you running? Why are you running? Very irresponsible man. <laughs> oh, this social media too sweet. I swear, I swear. This guy that didn't come out to protest. This guy that didn't come out to protest yesterday. This very dark brain. Okay, because of say who drag her yesterday. He can't rush. Come out. Come the right and bad government. Shut up your mouth, Biausa Abamu. Shut up your mouth, also so. Be a a Like I say, make police arrest very dark man. Make police arrest very dark man. Is the cause of the burning, the looting, the buying of people in Borono, Gombe, Yobe, um, Kanu. 
make police arrest them because now this guy now come out two or three days to protest. They shout, say no to government, occupy everywhere, occupy this, this one, this one. On the first will be the day of the protest, this guy didn't come out. He was inside, inciting people to come out. So police go carry them. They come people, they come, but he no come out. Now we come out to the honor, but also come out. Be also, make police arrest this guy. Make police arrest this guy. Now this guy now cause the problem with Nigeria the face now. <laughs> All right, guys, you can see that this is what is happening right now in the protest. Then also, guys, we had the likes of Portable, you know, coming out to talk about the protesters. And Portable is being dragged because Portable called the protesters lazy. And everybody has been angry, you know, because of this video Portable did. Ole, Fadu, Ole. Now, go see them and want to look for the way you protest. If you see what if you do, no be only a good day thief, no be jabba good day do. Now, by will hand bad government. Me the hand bad people too. Say, others put that, say, but government you don't suit that. Government you don't form a draw on you. Say, government you don't worry on you. Say, by now. Hand bad people, hand bad people. Not the only bad government, yo. And the world, boy, nobody bad. Eh, what the bad you? Eh, but what long? Bad mouth of people don't look at me. Then we are okay, girl. Bad mouth of people. If any of you has a rope and knows where you can find for portable and time, please time. And the fact that Nigerians, you people do not have cancel culture is a very bad thing. We need to learn how to cancel celebrities. And when we want to cancel them, we cancel them completely. Because who the hell exactly is portable? First of all, I blame Olamide with all due respect, not as an insult, but it was Olamide that robbed this man in our faces. If not, we're not supposed to even know who portable be. Because imagine portable coming out to say we should not be crying of bad government. That if Nigerians seek jobs, will they work? Can somebody remind Portable the number of people who pass out of the NYC per year and the number that have jobs? You think it's the 34,000 or the 35,000 that they are eating? Do you know how much it costs to travel from your state to five states away as a copper? Should we talk about the graduates from 2010? No, let's talk about the ones that graduated since 2000. Graduated with their complete results and have been unable to get a job. Should we talk about the graduates who are Okada men? Should we talk about the graduates who are dispatch riders? Should we talk about the graduates who are now prostitutes because there is no work? Should we talk about the, the, the graduates who now run POS businesses? The ones who are now makeup artists, not because they want to be makeup artists, but because of what the society has put them through? Should we talk about the fact that to get a government job is either you need to sleep with somebody or you need to have a father that is a politician or a father that knows somebody? Should we talk about how even to as cheap as raffle draw? and support help that you want to help somebody they, re they request for sex should we talk about lecturers who sleep with students who the hell is possible and who even tells him he has an opinion in what is going on we need cancel culture in nigeria because obviously a lot of these your celebrities because i do not see them as celebrities a lot of these your celebrities they need real they need orientation like they need to be addressed they need to be spoken to yes then also, Bonner Boy, in fact, when it comes to any protest, you know, Bonner Boy is one celebrity that is always being dragged. I don't know why people don't talk about Whiskey, don't, don't talk about David O. I know Whiskey, you know, Whiskey was among one of the protests, the NSAS protest. Whiskey was, you know, among, majorly among that protest, you understand? In fact, he has viral videos going around of that particular protest he did in the UK, you understand? But Bonabo is being dragged for not living up to the name, which is African Giant. And earlier on, Bonabo was like, you know, I leave that name for files. Let files take the name but Bonaboy still came out you know to do a video to speak up on what you know really happened and why he's not coming out to protest and this was what Bonaboy said um, Bonaboy is supposed to be an actor no nigga I never told you guys I was any activist bro I don't know where you even got that shit from like <laughs> like you feel me I don't know where you got that shit from bro like, you feel me I'm just a nigga that sees this shit and is just fucking heartbroken by it bro 
I'm heartbroken by how helpless the situation is, bro. Because it's like, bro, I can't do it alone. <laughs> you understand? And it's like, bro, like I've studied my heroes, bro. Like for real. And one thing that they all have in common is they all died before they died, bro. They all died before they died. Every single one of my heroes died before they died. And I'll explain that to you, bro. It's like, which, which person would Which one of my heroes? Should I say Gaddafi? Should I say Fela? Let me start with Fela because you guys know Fela. If I use any other person, you might not really know their full history. You know what I mean? So let's use Fela. From what, from my studies and what I've, I've heard and, and, and understand, because I wasn't there. <laughs> I wasn't even born. <laughs> you know, but from the people who were there and, you know, the conversations I've had, from what I've gathered, bro, Fela did die when everybody saw his dead body. When he, nah, bro. Fella died the day the army stormed his house, yeah? And I threw his mom out the window, yeah? And he seen a crowd of, I won't even put a number to the crowd of people he saw that were outside, but a large, the largest crowd of people, right? Who he felt were his people. You understand? And he got a little bit of confidence from that and started screaming more and, you know, getting more energy from that during, during the situation. and. He saw all of them literally go back to a safe distance and watch it happen. I feel like that shit broke his heart more than... And I feel like that shit killed him more than his even death, bro. You understand? So, it's like... These are the things I've studied and this is the... This is the part of my heroes I don't really want to be, bro. You understand? And this is why... And this is why it's... Sometimes it may appear as if I'm like torn between torn between fucking ready to die for you for ev for the everybody and fuck everybody <laughs> do you understand it's real and this is the same shit that's you know the same situation with each and every one of my heroes bro so it's like where do you think that leaves me mentally you know and the worst part of the shit is i've experienced a little portion of that myself <laughs> and i call it a little portion because I will never, I can never put my shoe, my feet in the shoes of my heroes. Everyone, you know what's up in this ceremony area? Yes, sir. Yeah. This is where we put our brought up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As they like this, yeah. we know the day against the government. Oh, no. yeah. Because we, we want to be patient for government. To do what they are doing. Yeah. So we, believe, we believe on this, our government. I know say he will deliver. I mean, he will deliver. I mean, he will deliver. I mean, he will Getting a lot of threats saying if you come out, then go beat you, then go do you should get because you think your mouth is sharp. For your information, I don't do my will, I don't do my will. And if this is gonna be my last video on it, so be it. People will nourish me, don't buy. 
even Jesus Christ now 33 years in use. And it will be in the record that I came, I saw, and I didn't keep quiet. Even though you know no allow me conquer, I did not keep quiet. Hunger is in the land. It doesn't matter if you are rich or poor. If you are rich today, you better not sleep because hungry man doesn't sleep. So rich man must be awake to look very well. I am going to be on the streets. If you not like, make you not carry you not church. I don't do my will. And if anything happens to me, you not know who to hold responsible. I don't care. I have man can only die once. I'm not scared as long as I'm standing on the truth. If government refuse to hear us, that's their home wala. I'm a man. I'm gonna be there. Okay? I must not have evidence, but I have my people. Sir, they are around here. I have evidence. Okay. okay. I am uh, among the people that they give five five times. They gave, five they, five before years. they gave me there before yesterday. Yes. For this upper resettlement town hall. They gather people. They give them five five thousand and i am among i'm kk people i'm kk man i carry many people go there and they give them five five thousand and i am the person that they give five thousand error they lecture us that time say don't go to protest because who gave you five thousand error? i don't know the name of the person because i don't know them they just come and with this um, um this chairman uh, amak chairman he visited the place and they give people five five thousand may anybody they will not count. Anybody will reach that, they will give him 5,000. And, and they will tell you that. We could not go there. Don't go there. What they tell us is say there's people that they want to make problem at, uh, uh, on this protest. That's why. So this 5,000, they give people to come and destroy our peaceful protest. Is the people that they come in and destroy our protest. Since oh, yesterday. Yes, uh, yes. Since yesterday, there are the people. See, the, after that, the yesterday they start shooting us with, uh, with tear gas. Today they start shooting us with the live ammunition. But, uh, For what? Uh, okay, uh, okay, thank you very much. Yes. Do your protest. Yes. Uh, well, you decided to be heading to Eagle Square. Having knowledge of what happened yesterday, why do you decide to be heading to the... I have knowledge to... Like, I don't know what is wrong with them here in Abeokuta. Like, they are cowards. I don't really know. Coming out saying that I'm, I'm going for the protest now. Get, I've been to like four different places. I've been to Itaoshi. I've been to Itaiko. I've been to Okelewo. I've been to virtually all places. Now I'm at Chapo. There's no even traces. No tra no single trace that there is there's a protest going on. And someone just told me that they postponed the, 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 the protest. Just imagine. That is why they keep calling us cowards. They, they keep calling us cowards. Everywhere is just dying. There's no protest going on. There's nothing. There's no, there's not everybody just they are just doing whatever they like. Just imagine. Uh, get into ABK, there is nothing going on. Nothing going on. And then protest is protest going on already in Lagos. In Lagos, I don't know what is wrong with them. I've been to different places. To different places. And we keep fighting. We keep saying we want change. We want change. When is the change going to happen? Look at everywhere. Everywhere is just dry. I've been to I've been, I've been to I've been to Okelewo. I've been to Okelewo. I've been to different places. I've been to different places. And they told me that they, they postponed the they postponed the they postponed the, the protest peaceful protest for that matter. And I'm very sure that the, the postponement is is, is, is is not going to. Is not, I don't know. I'm just I'm just tired. I'm fed up. I'm fed up. I've been to it. I've been to it. I've been to it. I've been to Okelewo. I've been to Itaoshi. I've been to Lafenwa. I've been to Lafenwa. Thinking that there will be protest. There is no protest. Nobody's protesting. Everywhere is just dry. And we 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 we, we claim to want change. When is the change going to happen? When exactly is the change going to happen? Look at everywhere is just right. Everywhere is there. I've been to, I've been to all places, virtually all places. I am very, very pissed. The reason why I come here, a no for pretest. A no to a no. I'm tired of the whole thing. I have two boys in the high institution. Every day keep on calling me. Daddy, we need money. The little one I get, I send today. They will call me after two days. That daddy, the money is not enough for their upkeep. I don't know what to do. And I don't want to involve myself in crime. As a good citizen, that's the reason why I made up my mind. That I'm ready to let him hear. Tell the whole world. I am ready to tell you. Who will not rest? Who keep demanding on social media? So our power is now. That's my opinion. Who keep demanding? We keep telling them again. If you keep doing this thing, who will come back again? Nigeria belongs to all of us. If there is no Nigeria, would they have the temerity to go in convoys of 30 cars? With, 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 with macho, with macho mobile policemen from our own taxpayers' money to guard them. Oh, they should come on the streets and let's work together. Let them come. Let's all go together in shop rights. Let's go watch movies together. Let them come to Keto Market and buy tomato together with me. 
Why are they always going with mobile armed men? Let's go and buy. Uh, okay, Papi, are you here to buy meat? Is it affordable? They will not. We are telling the country. They should open the border. Let them open the border. We are suffering. This suffering is too much. It's too much. You have one, one thousand. You cannot use one thousand to buy food. Look at the student. There's no job. They finish too. There's no job for them. Every corner is there. Let them open every corner. Let them open the border. Let the petrol come back to two hundred. Let the rice come back to three thirty thousand or twenty five thousand. Masisa. Like last year, let me give you an example of granite oil. A cake of granite oil last year is 25,000. There we are shouting. We sellers, we are shouting. But this year, as from last two weeks, I myself as a shell lady, I go to the company, I bought a cake of granite oil, 32,500. Uh, but as I'm telling you now, I went to Uduro yesterday, I bought it 40,100 naira. I never put transport to. So you can see that everything is getting worse badly. It's not as it be last year that is here today. Anything that's go up can never come down because that is Nigeria for you. Are you with me? Whatever goes up can never come down. That is Nigeria for you. I mean, they won't make everybody clear go before they go do something. It's too bad. Are they waiting for us to enter maturely finish before they will act? I don't know. My son is into programming. At 13 years, he can develop game and send to phone and they can play it. But I can't even afford to subscribe data for him. I won't stay and waste the future of my child. 13 year boy that can program. I won't stay and waste the future. I'd rather die for my son's future. Kaja Unicorn, Lenny Onja Kosi service. Oh, what's the office of school fees? I'm a Mimolo Yani Banki Laponi. My one son is 99,000. I'll say. Toya Patala, there, Tobata Galari Oshuko. Oh, one year, Kaker, and you could join your Lodu or my son. You should have your consistency. I that's what we are not here for violence. Let them know we are not happy. You know, it won't see. I bought this granite in 1000 naira. Half bottle. All yours is 500 naira, just three pieces. Pepe is 1000 naira. He don't even reach that thing. Where are we going to? We are dying, you know. Before, this is not 300. Half bottle is not 300. This is not 50, I've been 100 naira before. Now, 1000 naira, 1000 naira. 500 naira, that's in two five. People where the family you go, me have a single lady and they buy a two five. What are people not when of it buy? How how they want to survive? I requested for never bill, never they never prepared meter. But then they brought this meter. They said it is one million. I want to recharge. They put one million in a new meter that have not been used at all. A new meter. I have not made use of it. Ever over two years now, I have been working. I working to allow sir for them to for remove this money. I have been going there. Last week I still went there. I went to redress. We are still on it. This band A, this band A must stop. People are suffering. Where are they going to see band A to pay? You buy a. Uh, more uh, 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 Richard, I mean, uh, this is for 4,000 naira. They will give you about 17 units. 17 units, digital, what they call it. But air must stop. People cannot more use lights. We cannot more use lights. We are suffering. We have not seen money to chop. We have not seen money to chop. Over two years, I have not been able to recharge my, my prepared matter. I bought for 60,000 naira. Almost two years now, I have not been able to pay. They should tell this government. This suffering is too much. They are over laboring us. They are over killing us. They are killing us. They are sucking our blood. People are dying of frustration. People are dying of frustration. What do Igbo people do now? What do Igbo people do now? I don't buy it. You guys want to protest for bad governance, hardship. You don't start tribalism. Just leave Igbo people alone. They are not even protesting. Because they don't want you guys to turn them to scapegoats. 
one of the smartest moves they made. Because if they start to protest now, then they're going to kill. Just leave Igbo people alone, please. I didn't want to get involved in all this. Leave Igbo people alone, please. Confident. Okay. I mean, President Bola Metunumbu from day one is not competent to rule us. Retirement age in Nigeria civil working ages around 60 something years. Why should our president be over 80s? It's not easy. They should not just take decisions rashly. It will land on citizens in Nigeria. We are the ones suffering. It's like we are working as slaves in our own country. Even in our bank, cybercrime is against us. They just deduct our money anyhow. I believe Nigerians should hold fast, strong. We should drag this protest as long as we can until whatever we demand gets given to us. I <laughs> yes, we are doing our own protest. Life and arrest. Life and arrest. Today is 1st of August 2024. August 1st of August 2024. We are life and arrest. We are formidable. We are not, this is our protest. We are doing our own protest here. From Mr. Alibo. Life and arrest. We are coming life and arrest. From Mr. Alibo. Tinibu is the best president. It's all called the Jagaban. Nagara is talking now. Tinibu is the Ayimba. Mbamba. Tinibu is the Ayimba. Mbamba. Oya Tiberezi. Lambada Bogena. Mbamba. Oya Tiberezi. Lambada Bogena. Oya Oya. Tinibu is the Ayimba. Mbamba.
we must do it according to the rule of uh, law. We have said we have stated categorically that we are not stopping protests, but we only appeal that give government some time that some of these issues will be resolved. And we have told, we have tried to tell the people of Abuja residents and indigenous that we are doing quite a lot to change the lives of our people. They are aware that they were caught order, as of yesterday, the court did not stop protests. But the court said these protests will be confined to a particular area, which is the Moshida Bira stem. The security agency should allow the protesters to convene at the Moshida Bira stem and then talk to the world. All the media they are there, journalists are there, who will communicate, who will speak to the people, this is what they are saying. And we believe. As a democratic society, why do you want to carry out your protest? We must do it according to law. And the court has said, do this protest. Carry it out. It's a fundamental right, but we think we must shoot and be able to You saw what happened today, where the convener, where the convener of protesters, as the case may be, tried to move into the evil square, which is against the court ruling. And if not for the efforts of the security agencies, we don't know what would have uh, happened. We have come out to say clearly that one of the reasons government would appeal to you not to carry this protest that we believe some missions will take advantage and cause men and cause destruction of property within their city. See what has happened in most of the states today. Can you there? Can you there? See what happened in Bangui? Will you? And that's why we say, look, we are aware. You have said this, 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 you want it to be resolved. Now, look at the loss of lives in Kaduna. See what happened in Kaduna. And for the victim of the security agencies, and such a thing happens in their city, what would what you think? People will say, here we have international communities carrying out their businesses, residing in their city. So, we think that this country belongs to all of us. We think that we must work according to the rule of law. And we're going to look law is so they got orders. We believe that if you want to have intelligence that yes, you may attend and you may not have fully business, you may not have succeeded what they wanted to do, what they wanted to carry out. And we have intelligence that look, they're coming up tomorrow to destroy property that will lead to loss of uh, life. The security agencies will not allow every protester, please go to the Moshida Bela Stadium and do your protest. That is what the court said. We cannot, you want us to live in a civilized society, you want us to live in a democratic society, we must also obey court uh, orders. Now, we also have intelligence that a senator had to invite some security agencies to lead some of them to go and provide food to the protesters. That is sponsorship. A senator providing food for protesters and I hope that the security agencies will invite the, the senator and find out how will be sponsoring this kind of you know, against the government of the day. Against the government of the day. I will commend residents in Abuja who have been calm, market women, taxi driver, unions, youths who have refused to join to cost me. That's what we expect. We will, we will do our best to make sure some of these challenges are being uh, so, the president has made it clear, and I think our, uh, the youth, our people, we have made a position known that no need taking it too uh, far. So, I also commend the press, the way you have carried out your reporting. I also commend the security agencies. In fact, I have one of the conveners thanking the security agencies, cooperating. The security agencies are not there to molest anybody. They only there to make sure that things are done properly without causing any uh, violence against our people. So we felt we should brief you and that we should be able to tell our people that if you are still angry and they still want to protest, please confine yourself to the Moshida Bela Stadium so that we don't take the laws into our hands. Uh, Awiya is a center where you have boundaries with Niger State, with Masawa State, with Kaduna State, and Kogi State. So you can see the difficulty. And our security agencies are doing their best to contain most of the miscreants 
we are coming from this other uh, states.